Hi everybody, welcome back to my Crafty Dan. It's Debbie here. Today I have a little bit of a garden video for you. I've been crafting up a few pieces of glass art that I've just been playing around with some ideas. And I've glued a few pieces together. Um, I kind of wanted to try one of the, the garden art flowers and I had three little pieces that I thought might go together. I'm going to just move over into the shade because that sun's awfully bright. But uh, yeah, so I've put them in my garden. I'm going to show you the footage where I crafted them together and then I'll show you what they look like once I've got them outside. It's only three little pieces but I'm quite happy with them and I... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with the way they turned out. It's so, so easy to do. Last year I did a bird bath, a glass bird bath video, and it's a great hit with my viewers. They seem to enjoy watching that. Um, so if you would like to see another in-depth video about how to put these pieces together, just let me know down in the comments and I will do that for you. I... I, I have since I've done that bird bath video, I have learned a few different things and um, one of them is that I always use E6000 glue to glue my glass pieces together. The wind's starting to pick up but that breeze is really, really nice. So I'm going to show you that film footage now where I glued them together and I will show you what they look like in my garden. So this is how I put these pieces together. I started with this heavy black plate. Um, I think I thrifted it at my local thrift store. And the only reason I got it was because it would be a heavy base when turned upside down to hold a tower of glass. Because you have to start with a nice heavy base. It wasn't quite flat on the bottom though. So the little uh, clear plate that you see there glued onto it was just so I'd have a flat surface surface to glue the rest of the items to. The clear vase, the one I'm putting on there now, I chose that because it was very plain and I wasn't going to see much of it in amongst the plants anyway. I was using it more for the lift and then this is where I wanted these two pieces to go. I loved this uh, kind of clear uh, purple glass. It's so pretty and the starbursts on there kind of reminded me of starfish. So I thought they would go really nicely with the seahorse glass piece that I had. Now the seahorse is actually a bottle with a stopper in the top. Um, I have no idea what might have been in it but it's really cute and I knew I had to use it in my garden. So I glued the purple vase on there and thought it would be the nice color to um, go with this kind of blue green that the seahorse is. So all I'm doing to put these pieces together is using a nice bead of E6000 and then using my hot glue gun to dab just a couple of dots of hot glue on there to get that quick hold while the E6000 dries and cures. And once that E6000 cures, these pieces are really permanent. Just love that little seahorse bottle. It's the cutest thing I think that I've thrifted. Um, and I got it quite a long time ago, maybe a year or more ago. I got a few of these glass pieces about a year ago. I just haven't got around to using them and actually making anything of them till now. So it's kind of, it's not tall but it's a nice piece. And then this little butterfly plate, it's just the Harvest Gold glass. I don't think it was carnival glass or anything like that. And even if it was, I, I didn't care. This butterfly was so cute, but it actually had a groove in the bottom of the plate that that, um, 
that little plant steak. It's just a bamboo plant steak from Dollar Tree. I I might be Dollarama, but I hold I hauled a whole bundle of them, and I've been using them for all kinds of things. So I have another one of these green garden steaks that I've used before. And I have a, I had about three of these left and I wanted to use them. So I wanted to be able to stick that. This green one wouldn't glue, like it wouldn't fit in the groove of the butterfly. So I used a smaller one to fit in the groove and then fitted the smaller one right inside the larger green bamboo piece, if that makes any sense. And then I had this plate. I actually bought a set of six of these soft pink clear glass plates and they kind of have a tree of life type of print um, style to them. And I wanted to use them as backgrounds for flowers. So I had this little saucer and it had pink roses on it. So I wanted to put it on top of the pink side plate that pink side plate has like a, a ruffled edge around it and it's just really pretty when you see it close up but so i put the pink saucer the pink flowered saucer on there and i clean everything absolutely everything gets wiped down with rubbing alcohol and let dry so i was going to put this piece in the center as the center of my flower and i realized that the pink on it was actually painted on the outside. So I've learned from experience that if you glue a painted surface to a other surface, you're only gluing the paint, you're not gluing what's underneath it, and it can still peel off because it'll just peel off and leave the paint behind. So I took a little piece of sandpaper and I sanded the bottom so I had clear glass to glue down to my saucer. And that's all I did to make the front of this flower. And the same method, a little bit of E6000 and some hot glue. And I'll show you when I put it in the garden, when you see it in the garden, how I got it to stand up. It's really, really sunny out here now. So I'm hoping that you can see this. This is that piece that I just put that I wanted to get that seahorse into my garden I'm so happy I just tucked it into the side of this great big hosta I still have to get out and do a little bit more spring cleaning in my garden but that's what it looks like just with that hosta and it's so pretty and I love hostas I'm not a fan of the flowers that come up on them so sometimes I just go through and clip them off I'll let them stay for a few days but I usually take them out pretty quick so over here look at all these big big hostas like they the front of my deck area you can see my little weedy section right here but the front of my deck area is a little bit messy right there and these hostas do an amazing amazing job of keeping that area looking fresh and bright so this is the butterfly so i put it on that bamboo skewer that it's not a skewer bamboo garden stick I guess it's called and it just looks pretty there my deck is in desperate need of care but I think we're replacing it next year so we don't want to put too much money into it this year and this is what this little garden flower looks like that I made so you can see how I've put it on here I've glued a little bottle upside down to the back of it and I just sit it on top of a garden stake and it just sits above the hostas like this so I'm quite happy with the way it turned out and now that I've made that one I think I'm going to try to make half a dozen or so more and I am going to kind of stake them all throughout the hostas so that's a little peek at what I've done this 
week. Haven't done much crafting. Um, I made that trip to Toronto and when you're gone for two days and you're working the other days, it kind of takes away from your crafting time. But I did manage to craft up these little things and um, if you'd like to see a more in-depth in view of how I do those, definitely let me know because I can make that video while I'm making the other pieces here. Um, yeah, so this is going up instead of my Thrifted Thursday haul because of course all of these pieces are thrifted and they were thrifted quite a while ago. So I hope you enjoy it. If you do, don't forget to like and comment if you want to see more and by all means share and if you're not already a subscriber go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can see what I'm going to do next. So thank you for watching everybody. Bye bye for now and I will see you in the next video.